Well, good morning, y'all. What we got today is a tip from Iron and Oak Sawmill. This is for the guys that leave their mills set outside to keep the top rail from rusting. If you um, notice, if you leave them outside, your top rail will rust. I'm trying to put something on mine to keep it from rusting until I get a shed built. And I'll show you what it looks like. Let me get this camera off the stand here. Make it a little wobbly. We'll walk out here to the sawmill and I'll show you. I got one made just to practice one. I didn't want to, I want to make sure it worked before I demoed it. And it does. That's what it looks like. This protects the top rail from rusting up. This is one inch PVC pipe, plumbing pipe. And uh, I'm gonna finish covering the rest of it up. And what I did, I uh, set up a little jig. I'll show you what I got here. It's just a homemade jig I just slapped together because I'm gonna tear it back apart when I'm done. Just scrap lumber. What I did is took two two fours and I put a small thin board on the bottom to hold the PVC pipe up. You can see it all the way down. Then I uh, took a guide rail, just a piece of scrap for guide, so my router would go up against it exactly the distance I want. And I got it uh, measured from here to here to the, get my finger over here. From here to here, I got it measured like nine inches. That gives my router dead center in the middle of the PVC pipe. Then I just put a screw in the end of the, each PVC pipe, if you can see it, just to hold it down on the ends. And in the middle, I got just a couple little screws here and there just to hold the PVC pipe close to the, the two before. All right, we'll uh, go ahead and get the router fired up. And um, I'm using a one inch router bit. And I'll show you how we do this. Let me get you back on the stand. Scoot this back so y'all can see better. Hope y'all can see right there. I don't know if you can or not. Maybe about, about as good as far as I can get back here. I don't think I can get any further back. moved that might be better all right get you all set up here all right make it a little noisy let me go ahead and get the router started and get a one inch groove all the way through that pvc pipe Let me get my headphones. Let me be right back. I laid them down and forgot to get them. Hold on a second. All right, we're back now. I'm going to use this uh, steel headset and mask to keep the plastic from maybe flying to my eyes. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing routed out. Make it a little noisy.
kind of got jammed there. take it loose and I'll show you all what it looks like. And it does make a mess. Looks like I chipped it just a little bit right there. That's the only place I chipped it's right there. One little chip. It does make a mess, like I said. This is a mess. It fills that tubing up with plastic. You need any plastic filling, you got it. And I just dump it back out, but to get rid of it. much stays in there you can slide it right on down to the end. Maybe a little bit at a time, you can't take too much at a time. Turn it around, it'll get too tall. About all that dumped out. And it's sharp. I just cut my finger. Best to wear gloves. Right. Got one, little, one or two little chips here and there, but nothing to hurt it. I'll show you all what it looks like when I'm done. Oops, knocked off the drill. camera off the stand. All right, that's where the one inch groove. This is one inch PVC thick wall. I think Iron and Oak used a seven eighths bit, but I don't remember if he used thick wall or thin wall, but this is a thick wall one inch PVC pipe. I'll show you how it goes on. Snaps on there pretty tight. Let me get around here. Lay it up on your rail. Let me get the, trying to hold the camera and do this too. Let me get the stand for the camera. I'm gonna take a short walk. This is something just to keep the rail from getting ru water on it and rusting it up while it's sitting outside. We'll be uh, taking it off probably once we get the shed built. Let me get this camera around here. And I'll show you how it snaps on there. Start it just right. There we go. Fits good and tight. I'm not going to go all the way to the end because I want to put a uh, board like Iron and Oak did for uh, getting it off because I can see now this would be a pain to get off. 
And like I said, I want to credit this to Iron and Oak Sawmill. They're the one that come up with this, and I got it off their YouTube channel. So we thank you and appreciate you all watching. And hope you subscribe and uh, hit that like button and hope you tell all your friends and stuff. We thank you and appreciate it, and you all have a great day. All right, this is a little update on the sawmill rail covering. I went ahead and got uh, some handles put on it. You can see I got the PVC pipe hanging over about, I'm going to say about six or eight inches, roughly around there. That gives you something to grab a hold of to lift up on this first one. And once you lift up on the first one, the first one will grab this here board I got mounted on the second one, and it'll pop it up where you can go ahead and take it off. Same way with the second one. It'll pop up and pop the last one off, break it loose for you so you can pop it off of there. If I had it done over again, I would have probably used a thin wall PVC. I think it would work a little bit better. This here's real tight. I mean, it's tight. It ain't coming off. You can go down the road probably 90 miles an hour. It ain't going nowhere. But uh, I think I'd try the thin wall. But I thought I'd give you all an update what it looks like after I mounted it on there and everything, how I did it. And I put the handles this way. Where do I pop it loose for you? You don't have to try to yank it up off of there. But it snaps in place pretty, not too bad. But I thought I'd give you all an update what it looks like. All right, we thank you and appreciate you all watching our videos. And uh, hope you subscribe. And uh, tell your friends and stuff. We're trying to get them subscribers built up. We thank you and appreciate it. And you all have a good day. And like I said before, I'm not taking credit for this. The credit goes to Iron and Oak Sawmill. Uh, they're the one I watched their YouTube channel. They're the one I got the ideal from. So uh, I give them full credit. I don't not take credit for this ideal. All right, thank you. Appreciate it, y'all. And I hope you uh, all subscribe and enjoy watching the videos. And uh, maybe we'll get back to some sawing videos pretty soon. We can get this rain to stop. We ain't had nothing but rain. I still ain't got the red oak cleaned up yet. Still got a lot of it to pick up. Oh, there's Woody Woodpecker, the Palita. All right, we thank you. Appreciate you all watching the videos and hope you subscribe and uh, tell your friends and stuff. We're trying to get our channel built up. We're up to, uh, I think, 400 right now, somewhere around there, but we're trying to get on up there. All right, we thank you. Appreciate you all.